About 100 cyclists hit the streets tonight remembering fellow cyclists killed in the triangle. The city of Durham's budget director was killed while riding in Orange County. He is one of the people remembered tonight. CBS 17's Galat Malamed is live for us in Durham and Galat. Those cyclists are also pushing for safer roads. And one of the things they're pushing for is more intersections like this. You see, cyclists can wait in this green box in front of cars, and cars have to be behind this white line. Advocates say this makes for a safer left turn, and they hope that tonight's ride of silence will make everyone listen to their calls for safer streets. Cyclists silently fill the streets of Durham, riding for three people killed doing the same thing. He loved us so much, and just wanted to be with us all the time. A driver hit Allison Simpson's husband, Matthew, and drove off in July. That was the last time she rode a bike, too. It's really rough. Um, it's hard to describe kind of the intense waves of emotion that we go through, and um, there's, a, there's a huge void without Matt. Pride of Silence honors Matthew, Cheryl Arabardier, and the city's budget director, John Allure. The emotion and the, the power of being together um, in remembering people who have been killed, but also in doing something together. Like Durham's executive director, John Talmage, wants to see a network of protected bike lanes. They were on some streets in tonight's ride. He's encouraged by the city manager's proposed budget, which devotes more than $30 million to sidewalk and bike facility and route improvements. It also funds a Vision Zero coordinator, something the group pushed for at council meetings. Which we think is a critical position to really put the focus on the changes to our streets to make them safe for everybody. For Simpson, the focus on safety is also a way to keep her husband's memory alive. Try to ensure that I can advocate and do everything I can so that this doesn't happen again. Talmadge says that Matthew Simpson was the first cyclist killed in Durham since 2017. He says that every year about a dozen to two dozen cyclists are seriously injured. Live in Durham, Gilat Malamed, CBS 17 News. Yeah, we always need to be paying attention when we're driving and looking out for those cyclists. Yeah. Gilat, thank you for sharing that story.